Okay. Hi, people. Hello. Welcome to this look around Bangkok Airport. So, I've come in to Arrivals, which was on floor two. Um, and I've now come up to shops and restaurants on three. And if I go up to number four, I'm going to be going to my international departure because I go from Bangkok to Dubai later. Um, I think it's actually a really good system that they have. So different floors um, lead to kind of different things. So you've got public transportation all at the same um, place. Hello everyone who's joined. Um, the airport rail link, I use that and I think it's really good. I actually think it's one of the easiest transport systems that I've had from an airport. So yeah, I really like um, Bangkok's main international airport and I'm just going to give you a little look around. So pretty clean, lots of seats, um, escalators like travelators up to the different floors and down, toilets on every floor, there are always people kind of cleaning and then we've got the usual Starbucks. Um, and various other brands, lots of different shops, restaurants, anything that you kind of need to to go and get on this floor. Um, upstairs, I think I'll go around this way. If I head in this direction, I'll be able to show you going up the stairs. Um, hello everyone. Thanks for joining. So, this is going up from the third floor to the fourth. Um, down there is where you go to get all of your public transportation. Um, there's an elevator in different bits of the, the airport. And we're going up here. So this is where Departures is, um, again really easy, all you have to do is kind of go and find are kind of here and it's just really easy it has a li nice little temple in the middle of it let's have a look at what this is nice so really clean nice decoration only in Thailand would this kind of thing be in an airport, but well, that's lovely. Um, nice flowers as well. Um, and so yeah, I'm going to be checking in here later, but I don't need to do it for another hour or so. Um, it's actually pretty quick as well, checking in. So you can see that people are kind of queuing there for their flight. Um, but I didn't queue for that long in Bangkok. I've had much worse experiences in lots of other airports um, yeah I'll tell you what items it's probably good to like go through some of this stuff because not everyone knows it but obviously these are the kind of things that you're not allowed to take um, on with you so liquids or anything like that sharp instruments don't take any handcuffs on um, radioactive stuff um, kind of anything dangerous like this so even soda flakes matches like you need to not be carrying these kind of things on with you um, the self check-in for any people who can kind of do get get that option luggage wrapping services what else um, oh, this is a new one and it does affect me this time. So I carry a power bank with me so that I can always charge up all of my electronics. Um, there are two types that you can take, but there's one. You 
aren't allowed to take it on any of the flights with Thai Airways. So luckily mine was, I think, the one in the middle. So I got it in on my carrying baggage. It's actually a really good airport and if anyone's read my blog, this could lead to anywhere.com, you'll know that the first time I came to Bangkok was about nine years ago and I was actually really stressed out um, that I was going to be arrested or something bad was going to happen when I got here and it's the easiest place in the world. Like immigration took no more than 20 minutes to get through and then I was straight on a train and on my way into the city um, so sometimes it's kind of not the perception that you have of it let's have a look down here so this is like looking down into the other levels so this is where you exit and you kind of go across and there are a lot of different places that you can pick up buses and taxis um, but I would really recommend the, the rail um, that was a really great public transport this is one of the elevators um, and I might take it down depending on how long it takes I'm just going to go down the stairs so it's a big thumbs up for me for Bangkok airport I, I think it's a really good place it's very it feels very safe and for an independent female traveler I think it's definitely one of the like, best airports that I've come through um, I'll hello um, so yeah I'm kind of making my way down to back to all of the um, cafes and I'm just going to spend some time here for the next hour. just to kind of let you know the security is really good here um, the facilities are great there's even medical services behind me um, oh and a guy cleaning the floor <laughs> that I nearly got knocked over by um, yeah and it's really good I just I really like it it's a very easy airport to come through and definitely not what I expected the first time that I came here but I think it's important to kind of let go of any of the stereotypes or the bad things that you hear about places and to read things like blogs, see people's experience of airports um, through their eyes, um, let them tell you what a good experience is and what a bad experience is and kind of go after that more than newspapers and all of that kind of media because um, I think sometimes they have an agenda. Um, what else? Yeah, it's, it's a really good place when you're getting off the aircraft. There are buses um, and they'll take you to the right place to kind of get in. So you just don't have to worry about anything. It's not like some of the big... And there's always somebody who can give you advice about it. So, yeah, that was my little orientation of um, Bangkok Airport. So I hope you kind of enjoyed that and got some information from it. And I'll do another Periscope soon. Bye.